Welcome back to the Farmer Hunt YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. If you haven't already, do us a favor, click that subscribe button down there in the corner. That's what helps us to keep making these videos. Also, Eric and I are tossing around the idea of changing the name of our YouTube channel over to Hunt and Lover and Cattle Company. That is the name of our company we sell our beef through. We have a website, you can check it out if you want to. But anyway, we're talking about changing the name over that. Let us know down in the comments what you think be the same content following the same stuff but we're just talking about changing it over that way it follows our website as well eric's uncle called us a few days ago and there was a windrower for sale at an auction he ended up bidding on it and bought it for those of you who don't know windrower it's a piece of equipment we use in the chicken houses between flocks we've got a video from a while back we'll probably do another one using the wind rower coming up soon. But basically it's something we use to roll the chicken litter into rows. We ended up buying it. It's being delivered to us today. People that delivered it loaded it on the trailer the wrong way. So we can't just back on the trailer with the tractor and drive it off. We don't have anything at the farm right now that'll actually pick it up. So we gotta get creative and get this thing unloaded. Y'all come on. Here's the wind rower. You can see that it's loaded on the trailer it was pulled up with the tongue first so got to get creative All right, straighten up. Come on back a little bit more. That'll probably do it. Turn. Back up a little bit. Tell me if that cut edge, if it gets close, we'll, we'll block it up. It's blocked up. Uh, it's already blocked up. I was talking about if I need to run over some blocks to keep the cut edge off. You should know right here. I think you're good. Cutting that down. This side right here is going to take How much further have I got to go before it? It's the side piece that's. Is it alright coming off over there? Oh, yeah. It's not going to take much. We've got one wind rower, but with eight chicken houses, we were in need of another. So I have made it clear to 
Ben, Nicole, and my wife to put on my headstone, two things. Number one, you get what you pay for. Number two, buy two of everything. Especially when you're a farmer because as soon as you get started with something, something's gonna tear up, you're gonna be in a tight. So a second machine like this just gives you a little peace of mind of when we're in the time crunch, if one goes down, you can keep going with the second one while you fix the first one or fix fix it when you get going. So one thing I've learned in life is, especially in farming, is by two of everything. So let's do a little walk around. Kind of this was obviously my Uncle Mac found this for us on an auction. It's a sight unseen purchase. I was on a Mickey and Minnie roller coaster ride when he was texting me about buying this. But just looking at a few pictures, you can tell you obviously see the paint is in really good shape. It's got all the parts. It's got the, the pump that you need. Ours actually doesn't have this. The cooler, it's what cools your hydraulics off. So the first machine that I bought didn't have a cooler on it. They had bypassed it. So I know somebody is doing it right. But looking at things over here, one thing we look for is just wear marks. You can see where some paint is going off of there, here. And the paddles, the paint's going off of, but basically that's it. So, in just an initial walk around, one of the first things that will happen if you use it a lot is the paddles, you'll break these bolts. Some of the paddles are kind of bent back the other way, so it's been used. If I had to guess, I would say this machine was used for maybe a couple of years, maybe, maybe even one year, just according to what condition they're running it in. But all in all, for auction price on the machine, I couldn't be more pleased. I tell you this, it's in twice as good of shape as the machine that we currently own. So it's a no-brainer purchase in my opinion. Well, let's get back to work. So all the chickens are gone. So they started catching my houses last night around 1030. They finished up this morning around 8 a.m. So been a long night. Nicole has planned a trip for us. When you're in the chicken business, it's hard to plan trips far out. We planned this trip about three months ago. We're leaving tomorrow. So we got a lot of work to do before we can head out of town. So our goal for today is we got both crusters hooked up to our John Deere tractors. We're gonna go through and do a lap in every house, knock that top layer of crusting off. The crusting is just kind of this hard pan that's left on top of the litter from the chickens. Once we get it out, we're gonna to try to go through and roll up all these houses. This is our first time. We finally have two wind rowers. We've got two crusters. So we're hoping to get it all knocked out today. That's a lot of work to do in one day, but if everything holds together and I don't fall asleep, I think we'll get it done. This is what you're left with after you sell some chickens. There's always this crusting kind of, it's underneath all the water lines. So we'll run through with that cruster, pick a lot of that stuff up and just start getting this litter ready. The controller, that's where I turn on my fan. So I've got some fans running in the back of the house. It gets a little dusty in here when we're crusting, so that helps pull some of that dust out. through all these houses. 
These are my chicken houses here. Eric's only sold one house so far. You can see the litter's not perfect, but we've gotten rid of a lot of that cake stuff on the top. So what we're gonna do now is go through and roll it up, maybe. one lap down the wall and then we go back the opposite direction in the middle we'll actually run through here and we'll put litter more litter into this wind row so two total wind rows throughout the whole house let it sit four to five days um, sometimes when we have time we come back we roll it over again when we don't have time we come back we spread it out and start getting ready for chickens They're not going to roll their sail. Let's go see what he's done so far, see if we approve. We got lap one complete. Two thumbs up, he says. So when you come back in, he was on the wall during the first round. Now this time he's going to come back. Basically put the letter back in. there is our finished product we got all the houses rolled up the new wind rower is awesome works great works even better than our old one so we're pretty excited with our purchase we did well with it thank you mac for finding it and for selling it to us thank you for watching our video we'll be doing some more videos probably some more cleaning up and also getting ready for baby chickens coming up in the next few weeks for now, I'm headed to go pack and we're off to Disney World. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.